Hey, Melissa. We had this conversation when I was deciding to become a stay-at-home mom and I think I think maybe we can talk about that now. Like how how did you decide? How did you move? I you were working. Mm. Maybe you can you can talk about that. Uh, how how long were you employed and then how you decided to become you know, a stay-at-home mom? Mm. Okay. Mm. So I didn't become a doctor. Yes. <laughs> I was called to study computer science. Yeah. I had no idea what that was because mm. you know mm. how we used to select yes um so i remember i selected medicine mm. and then i don't remember the rest oh, yeah at least they didn't call it for anthropology <laughs> i've had many people say they were called for weird <laughs> well i was called yeah. to maseno university ah, uh, okay. and i remember being so traumatized because yeah. the letter said mm-hmm. you will arrive at the junior algunga village way Hey. Anyway, so we found and you're a, a way. City girl. Yes, uh-huh. guys, there's no way. <laughs> so we found a way to apply, and I got transferred to Nairobi University. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I started computer science, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, so it's I, it surprised you. It surprised me. Yeah. It surprised me because mm-hmm. I enjoyed mm-hmm. um, discovering that I'm a logical thinker. Okay. Um, discovering that you can use technology to solve problems. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, and the best part of it is that's where I met my husband Yay. in campus. So Aww. yeah, that mm-hmm. that was the highlight. Yeah. And so when I finished, mm-hmm. I um, first mm-hmm. my first job was as a sysadmin, mm-hmm. and I hated it mm-hmm. completely because it was mundane. It okay. was mm-hmm. fixing when an app is down mm-hmm. or connecting cables. Yeah. And, um, I felt I'm not utilizing my brain. My, your brain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I got my, okay, within three months, mm-hmm. I resigned. Mm-hmm. And my next job was at Deloitte. Mm-hmm. And I first got into audit, yeah. which um, I struggled with because okay. my background is IT. IT, yeah. But audit opened up my mind mm-hmm. because I had to understand business processes. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, it was fun yeah. um, for the year that I was there. Okay. And then I moved to IT consulting. Mm-hmm. And I loved my job. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Loved mm-hmm. it. Loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved the. You liked the flexibility. I wasn't flexible. It wasn't. <laughs> okay. No, oh. not at all. Yeah. Um, the hours were long. Mm-hmm. Um, the work was very challenging. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I liked about it. I liked mm-hmm. that it pushed me. Mm-hmm. Um, I was always growing. I was always learning. I was always discovering. Mm-hmm. I loved my workmates. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. They were fun people. Mm-hmm. What I didn't like was the politics. I don't know why. Mm. If you run a company, mm-hmm. anyway, <laughs> let people work. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's always that insecure boss. Yes. Or that insecure workmate who oh, mm-hmm. try to sabotage. I, or, I've had those stories. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They'll be backstabbing mm-hmm. and you thought we were working, but then but it, well, it was a small mm. segment so, of what I was doing, okay. but it was there. Okay. Um, I think that's where you met George. My, my husband, I think that's I the time you were him, doing consulting. Was it for the same company? Yes, yeah, so I met him just after I had left. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. But it was in the same mm. um, type of work because it was IT, mm. um, it was audit and risk. And cool. Yeah. So I remember I used to think I, shop. He is, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I think I never got to see him in that element. In that element. In that element. Yeah. Interesting. He could work a crowd. Oh, his, really? Yeah. Oh, he still does. He he still I, does. I remember thinking our social circles are so tiny. <laughs> Yeah, okay, introducing him and you already know him. <laughs> yeah, we worked. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this time now you're at Deloitte and then you moved to the consulting. You're, you've been married. Um, you would gotten married by then, right? Yes, okay. we got married when mm-hmm. I was at Deloitte and I mm-hmm. moved to the consulting department. Okay. Um, and mm-hmm. going back to, I always loved kids. Yes. And I taught Sunday school. Uh-huh. And while teaching Sunday school, mm-hmm. there was always a difference Mm. between the kids who had present parents mm. and the ones who didn't. So that's and when you noticed the yes, difference? Yes, okay. I noticed they were more content. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't, they were not needy, mm. they were not unnecessarily cheeky. Okay. They were, most of them were so full, mm. they were givers. They ah, would either lead, understood. they could confidently engage. Yeah. Um, it also meant that I knew their parents because their parents would either drop them, pick yeah. them, uh-huh. linger. Yes. Um, and then at around that time is when I mm-hmm. we were attending Maguno Church. Then. Yeah, yeah. 
and that's the first time I started meeting mm-hmm. stay-at-home moms, mm-hmm. which was such a bizarre concept. I know for me, it, yeah, because people don't talk about it, so we always used to feel like it's some strange concept. Only white people that do. white people do, yeah, because they can't afford house help. There you go. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> not hardworking, intelligent women. In fact, I probably judged most of them, and I thought they were bimbos. Who rich men? Just <sighs> confessing. <laughs> now that now we have that one, that side. Yeah. We're the recipients of that judgment. Yes. Gosh, eh? Don't uh, even get me started. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Mavuno, Mavuno, the and then mm. I've seen these kids, and then yeah. I've visited women mm. who were stay at homes. Okay. And their homes were homely. Mm. Mm. They were lived in, mm. like. The carpet was well worn, mm-hmm. the chairs were, mm-hmm. the books were well read. Like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you enter and you just want to cuddle I on the you. sofa. Yeah, um, I get it completely. And I compared now with my corporate colleagues mm-hmm. who I remember I once went to one partner's house. Mm-hmm. But it felt like an office. Like For, you even yeah. sit, you know, you organize <laughs> yourself, how Structured. you sit. Yeah. <laughs> you drop anything, you're so apologetic. Yeah. Um, so there was a difference okay. between the two. Yeah. Um, so I remember we jokingly said mm. with Declan that. Mm. Mm. Jokingly. Uh, yeah, jokingly said <laughs> that. Mm. Okay, we knew mm. when children come, mm-hmm. uh, we'd love to be more present. Okay. And while at Deloitte, there's no way that would happen because yeah. the hours were long mm. and the work was demanding. Mm. Um, but we had planned mm-hmm. <laughs> that the kids will come mm. uh, when we already have a housing current. Ah, uh, many, three many cars. Years. Way. Yeah, that was <laughs> planned. <laughs> and God was in heaven laughing. <laughs> It's like, oh, they're there, yeah. they're there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The plans are great. Okay. Because within our first year of marriage, we got okay. pregnant. Okay. Uh, mm. which was a shocker because yeah. that, that the house in Karen has not come yeah mm. no and i was mm. it happened when my career was just like taking mm. off you yeah. know i was mm. in a good space mm. i had lots of favor mm. Um, mm. i was getting more and more responsibilities yeah and the funny thing is i was so certain this mm. is where i was I, meant to be i hear you yeah mm. and then i get pregnant uh-huh. then Declan reminds me mm. he's like oh by the way mm. uh, remember we'd say it <laughs> mm-hmm and then now while being pregnant mm. you know the scales fell off because mm. now i started seeing my mm. workmates who are moms okay and how they will struggle yeah um to balance, to balance work yeah. and and being there for their kids yes okay. and i remember one of my bosses a uh, lady mm. very tough woman mm. when i got married took me for a lunch date mm-hmm. to tell me mm. now that you're married don't change wow. you need to prove in this space but mm. just because you're a woman, you won't drop the ball. My goodness. It's um, so hard for women. It really is. Yeah. Um, and you have to show up like 10 times more. So make Not- whatever systems you need. Yeah. Um, so watching the sacrifices that they had to put in, mm. then me remembering the difference I could see in the kids the who kids. had present parents. Exactly. Yeah. At this point, I was earning more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let mm. me throw that mm-hmm. in the spanner. So I was mm. the one bringing in the cash. Mm-hmm. My job had the medical cover. Yeah, I know we bonded over this. We bonded over this. <laughs> the nice little packages that just make life. Yeah, nice. nice. Um, mm. But yeah, I mm. took time, thought about it, and decided to let go. And when you were pregnant, or when after? I was pregnant, okay. I was eight months pregnant. Uh huh. And I remember being asked, "So you have a rich husband?" <laughs> and I said, "Yes." Mm. By faith, we are very wealthy. Mm. But yeah, we didn't know how we'll pay for the, mm. the hospital. Mm. But you know the way you just know. Mm. You just know that you know that you know. This is the path we are supposed to follow. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yep. So I put a mic drop. Mm. And you are out. I'm out, yeah. <laughs> and then mm. the baby came. Then the baby came. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. We paid, shockingly. Okay. You know in life the way you say, Mm. If it gets here, it's mm. so bad. Yeah. Then you get there and you're like, oh, we're still... They're still <laughs> standing. Still here, yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, and then I remember when mm. I left, my mm. prayer then, mm. still my prayer now, mm. was not to always say, oh, yeah, we're from a single mm. income home. Income home, yeah. Uh, Life is hard. Yeah, oh, mm. yeah. I mm. used to pray. Mm. God used me okay. as an example. Mm that others will look and say, okay, if Mel did it, mm. it's possible. Oh my gosh. Um, C- can I say something? Because yeah. 
you know, it's 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 um, and the reason why I wanted you to be the first one in this series is because I say that to myself all the time. Mm. If Mel can hack this, then I can. I only have really? one kid. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. I honestly do. Even when we're considering homeschooling, we mm. talked about it with Georgie, and mm. I even spent time with you just to observe and see how you go about it. I'm like, hey. You you are an example for sure, and I, and I, and I'm thankful that God brought that I would call it a prophecy to fruition because it has helped so many people in their journey. Yeah, and I know the people who are watching this will also oh, get yeah. encouraged. It's true. It's so so true. You Thank actually God. called it. It was deliberate. You it called was. it for. I did. Eh? Wow. In fact, every time mm -hmm. I'm asked to speak, but yeah. then I share away. The only mm -hmm. reason I've agreed to this is mm -hmm. I really find that you. Oh, thank can't you. Say it but I've bugged you for long. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I resist, yeah. the scripture that comes to mind is mm -hmm. a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Yeah. So let your mm -hmm. light, light so shine, shine yeah, mm -hmm. that people may see mm -hmm. and give your Father in heaven. So that's been Testify. my prayer. Yeah, that, hey. that, mm. So that when people see, they won't see Mel, mm. they'll see, okay, yeah, God has helped Mel. So yeah. the, God, the God Mel prays to, mm. you must come through.